Imagine a place where science meets the extreme, where the coldest temperatures on Earth are created to power the future of energy. Welcome to ITER, a global project dedicated to unlocking the secrets of fusion energy. The heart of ITER is a colossal magnet system, strong enough to tame a plasma hotter than the sun. But here's the twist. These magnets must stay unimaginably cold, almost at absolute zero. To make this possible, scientists built one of the largest cryogenic systems ever conceived. Hello, my name is Alexander Litvinovich. I'm from Russia. I have been working for ITER since 2018. I'm responsible for a successful installation, commissioning, and future operation of the Kraplan cryogenic systems. See these tanks? They're like the lungs of the system holding the gases that keep everything running smoothly. Some tanks store liquid helium to boost performance, while others send cold helium to protect the tokamak, the machine at the core of ITER. About 30 tons of helium continuously flowing in a closed circuit, cooling over 10,000 tons of superconducting coils. This icy wonderland is supported by a massive refrigeration plant spread over an area as big as an Olympic football field. Hello, I'm Isao Abe. I'm from Japan. I've been working at ITER since 2018. I'm responsible for interface integration of the cryo plant to ensure its seamless operation as a complete system. These powerful machines pressurize helium to 20 times atmospheric pressure, cooling it down and filtering out impurities before it travels deeper into the system. My name is Marie Toussaint, I'm French. I've been working for ITER since early 17. I am process and high-end system group leader, responsible for a safe and a controlled operation of the cryogenic system. Here, the helium enters its coolest phase. These giants chill helium to minus 269 degrees Celsius, just a whisper above absolute zero. It's a feat of engineering that turns ordinary gas into the lifeblood of the tokamak. Hello, I'm Hanshik Zhang from South Korea and working at ITER since 2009 as a technical responsible officer for the ITER cry distribution. The system that I present now is called the cry plant termination cold box. This cold box is the mastermind. It sends the helium exactly where it's needed, to the magnets, cryo pumps, and shields of the tokamak. Hello, my name is Hiten and I am from India. I have been working for the ITER cryogenic distribution lines since 2008 and have been present on site since 2022. Now let's have a look into the cryo bridge a 30-metre structure that holds hundreds of tonnes of cryogenic lines. My name is Adrien, I am from France. I am responsible for the installation of the ITER cryogenic system in the Tokamak building, and I've been working at ITER project since 2009. This is where the helium's journey ends in the Tokamak building. Through three kilometers of pipes, the helium reaches its final destination, cooling thousands of tons of equipment with incredible precision. After a decade of planning, building and fine tuning, the cryo plant is ready for its ultimate test. A team of 25 engineers and technicians from around the world has come together to make sure everything works flawlessly. Their mission, to ensure this icy giant delivers the performance needed to launch ITER's fusion experiments. This is more than a story of cold and machines, it's a tale of human ingenuity and collaboration. Together, we're pushing the boundaries of science to create a brighter, cleaner future for us all.